What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna use the extension Flowify to bend a pattern along a curved face. Um, before I get started, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course that I created to give you a start to finish training um, in SketchUp. So if you're interested in taking your SketchUp training to the next level, make sure you check that out at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I actually had another video that I was planning for today, but everything kind of fell apart, so I decided to make a video on Flowify. And I've talked about this extension a bunch in the past. Everyone, uh, you guys probably know that I'm a pretty big fan of this extension, but I also think that there's uh, some things people need to learn in order for it to uh, really work. But let's go ahead and just go through this. So what I want to do in this case is I want to create kind of a complex surface, kind of an organic surface. So we're going to start off and we're going to use the sandbox tools. And so uh, to use the sandbox tools, you're going to enable that. Um, from your toolbars, make sure the box for sandbox is selected, and then you're going to come in here and you're going to use the from scratch option. And uh, I will note you also need to have Flowify installed, and uh, I will link to that in the notes down below. So to start off, we're just going to create a grid. So I'm going to click on the from scratch option. In this case, I'm going to set my grid spacing to three feet. So just activate the from scratch option, type in three feet, and hit the enter key. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create our grid, and we can use our grid along with some of the sandbox tools, other tools, in order to create the shape that we're gonna kind of bend this along. So you can make this however you want it to, make this however long you want it to be. It's kind of a personal preference thing, but in this case, all I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna double click inside this group that gets created, and I'm gonna use the smooth tool in order to um, move some geometry up and down. And if you remember, you can click on the smooth tool and then uh, type in a value. So in this case, I'm gonna set my radius to 15 feet. That's gonna set the circle size of the smooth tool. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move some geometry around. So I'm gonna move this down, move this up. I'm basically just creating kind of a random organic shape. So it's kind of just moving up and down and flowing a little bit. So that ought to be good enough for what we're trying to do right now. This will work on more complex shapes as well. And what I'm, or you can create more complex shapes with this as well. What I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this and I'm going to use the soften edges tool in order to make this more of a smooth surface. So probably what you're going to have to do is just check the box for soften coplanar with this group selected. And then uh, you can click and drag this if you want to. In this case, 20 degrees work just fine for me for uh, softening all that geometry. So that's all in there, but it's in there as soft geometry, which is why this looks like more of a smooth face. And so now that we've done that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our canvas for our Flowify shape. And so in order to do that, if you remember, grouping is very important with Flowify. And I know I'm gonna get five questions down below of why things won't work, please, before you leave the question, go in and make sure that you group everything properly. Because if you remember the way Flowify works, you need to have a target surface that has four corners. So it needs to be some kind of a rectangular type shape. So if you were to come in here and draw a circle, it wouldn't work as a, as a target shape. It needs to have four corners. And then you're gonna have four or two lines that are grouped together in their own group. And then you're gonna have a base face. And so to start off, we're gonna go ahead and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my base face up above. And so all I'm doing is I'm drawing a pair of lines and then I'm drawing a rectangle up here. This just kind of gives me a canvas to work from so I know what size this needs to be. And so I'm gonna go ahead and erase that line out and I'm just gonna have two lines coming off of two corners of my target group. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna do a shift click and I'm gonna select these two lines, right click and put them in a group. And then the last thing I need to do is I need to select this face, right click and put that in a group. And then you need to come in here and you need to group all three of these objects together. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna click make group. And if I click on the outliner and I expand this, you should see one overall group and then three individual groups in here that contain your base face, your target lines, and your target face. And so you can test to make sure this is working by coming up here to extensions, selecting Flowify, and clicking impose grid. And if 
a grid gets imposed on your base face, then you'll know that everything's working properly. If it doesn't, pretty much every time I've ever had the question, it's been either things aren't grouped properly or the target face didn't have four corners. So try those two things first and uh, that's gonna solve 99% of your problems. Well now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna model out this, uh, we're gonna model out what we wanna bend along this face. So first of all, I'm gonna click undo, just so this, gr or I'm gonna do a control Z to undo this, just so this grid isn't on here anymore. And then I'm gonna start working on my face. So to start off, I'm gonna draw a rectangle up here that's basically gonna act as my um, group that I'm gonna bend. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hide my Flowify stuff for just a minute. And I'm just gonna come in here and I'm just gonna model out basically whatever I wanna bend. So you can make this whatever you want. In this case, I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna divide this line into probably 15 segments. And then I'm just gonna draw a line straight along this face. So once I've drawn that line straight along this face, I can use the move tool in copy mode to create copies the rest of the way down. So just select your line, tap the M key, click on this point right here and tap the control key. And then you can move your mouse to wherever you want, whatever segment you want in here. In this case, um, don't put it on the midpoint, put it on the green points. That's the end point of that divided line that I created. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click here. Then I'm just gonna type in times and then a value. So in this case, I'm gonna type in times 15 and hit the enter key. You can see how that created 15 copies. Well, in this case, that's too many, but I haven't clicked anywhere else. So I can type in times 14 and hit the enter key. And so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna move a copy of it off to the side because I may do another example in just a second. But for now, what I'm gonna do is now that I've created my copies and these are individual faces, I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna push pull a few of them up. And you can make these as tall or short as you want to. In this case, I'm gonna make this 12 inches. And then I need to push pull the rest of these. But if you remember, tools in SketchUp have a memory, meaning if I double click on another face, this remembers whatever the last action was with that particular tool. So in this case, I was able to just come in here and double click and extrude all of this really quickly, and really easily. So now I'm just gonna come in here and there's two ways you could do this. You could either come in here and you could erase out these segments if you wanted to so that you've only got these bars in here or you could leave the segments in here and group this we're gonna group this either way, but you could either leave these segments in here or not. Um, if you left the segments in here, all that would mean is that would bend this face along your object down below as well. So it's kind of a question of if you want to see those gaps in there or not. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and erase them and we'll see what this comes up with. So now I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna make it a group. And then I'm gonna unhide my Flowify geometry. So I'm gonna do an unhide all. So now what I have is I have the geometry to be bent and I have my target group that I created earlier. And so one thing I'll note with this one is for some reason I'm getting a weird result on the edge over here. For some reason it does not like doing this um, with this edge right lined up with this line right here. And I've never really seen anything like that. In this case, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in here inside my group and I'm gonna push pull this edge back just a bit so that it's not right, lined up right with this line. And then my result seems to be fine. There's a few other things you could do with this as well, um, but this seems to work the best. And uh, what this does is this just bends this object all the way along this curved face. And so then I can come in here and usually what I would do in this case, because you got this kind of ugly geometry that it creates, well you can just come in here and you can just use the soften edges tool in order to uh, smooth that out. And then you can come in here and you can either hide or erase your other stuff and you're left with these kind of curving lines in here. And so one other thing to note is when I came in here and looked at this on the underside, um, when I went in and erased out all those lines, for some reason these faces went away. So I'm just gonna undo this and uh, so before I bend this, I'm just gonna hide my target group and I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna make sure that all of these faces are healed. And so I'm just gonna come in here real quick and just draw lines across these faces. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create the one face and then I'm gonna use the move tool in copy mode. 
to fill that in real quick. So now if I come back in here, do an edit, unhide all, and run Flowify, now you should get the result that you're looking for. So now you just come in here, soften smooth these, and so now you've got this smooth curved shape along here. So let's say for example that you wanted to do more of a 3D checkerboard pattern. Well what you could do is you could come in here and you could break this up into a grid. So let's say I was divide th to divide this into, we'll do 20 segments on this edge. What you could do is you could just come in here and draw a pair of lines like this. And then you could go ahead and extrude the objects that you want up. So again, I'm just coming in here and just double clicking on these different faces. So once I have that in there the way that I want it to be, I can just select these. And I could use the move tool in copy mode to do an array copy. And go ahead and copy this. So we'll do times 25, whoa, times 10. Let's try that. There we go, so I ended up with a times nine, but you could create this checkerboard pattern in here if you wanted to as well. So just like before, we just need to make sure these are all filled in. And again, I can just use the move tool in copy mode in order to do that. And so in this case, I'm just gonna leave this in here, but you could come in and erase all of these out, though the right time to do that would have been back when we were creating our copies. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select this and we're gonna make this a group. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an edit unhide all. I'm going to move my Flowify target over here. I'm going to save my model and then we'll just do the same thing where we select our geometry to be bent and our target group. Go to extensions, Flowify, Flowify. And then you can go ahead and hide all of this stuff and then come in here and just soften and smooth your edges. So you can see how you're able to generate, um, you're basically able to generate this pattern along this face using this extension. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Are you using Flowify? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.